TBU Breeze, I'm in the apartment with Parlay. Hey, Parlay. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, this your boy Parlay, and we back in the apartment with Parlay. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, man. He be going down. Jay be outside. You know what I'm saying? The homies run by. And they fly whips. You know what I'm saying? The government cutting the grass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The children outside playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's this the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Police run by. They doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? But we doing what we do. We in the pot, man. Doing what we motherfucking do. Shout out to everybody who gets some money. Shout out to everybody who want to get some money. Y'all are important too. Because without y'all, the people who get the money won't be able to get the small money. Everybody got to play a part in what they do. You know what I'm saying? But I really pride myself on this Atlanta shit, on the West Side shit. Because I really feel like the West Side, we the, we the capital of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Right. We really control what's going on. Like East Side, they doing that. Like East Side, really, right now, they got this shit in the headlock. You know what I'm saying? But West Side, we still control this shit. And the shit that we do, and the way that we do this shit, and the grimy, how grimy we is, and you know what I'm saying? How hood that shit is. I know you can look at that shit and be like, man, how the hell this nigga gonna be like, man, he like how he side to tie grimy. But you gotta grow up from another beef to understand this shit. If you ain't never grew up in them situations, in them environment, you won't understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When you make it out some shit like that, you can't, you can't do no, you can't have no choice but to find joy out of that shit, and then find joy with the shit that you made it out of, knowing that's the same shit that other niggas is glorifying. You know what I'm saying? And to be able to have this platform and share this platform with other people who live the same lifestyle I live and to be doing music at the same time is a blessing because we can share ideas and thoughts and I can let them know shit that I've been through and went through and how I overcame it and ways I duck shit. You know what I'm saying? And that would be what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'd like to welcome my next guest to the motherfucking show, TBU Breezy. What's going on, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, my dog. My dog said they his first motherfucking interview. <laughs> yeah, my first interview, man. That's my uh, second day in Atlanta, though. So For real? Yeah, yeah. Man, welcome to the city. Yeah, How you like it down I here? I fuck with the age, yo. I fuck with it. Yeah, Why you on being, where you on being to so far? Man, I went to this um, Music Mondays at um, Outkast and shit. That shit, I fuck with. I like how y'all DJs interact with the artists and shit. Everybody networking and shit. I fuck, I fuck with that. You did, uh, you did um, uh, Music Monday with Coalition DJs. Yeah. Shout out to Funk and shout out to X. Definitely did. Yeah, so that, shit, that shit was live too, man. Nah, nice, nice little vibe, man. Yeah, I fuck with it. How different, how much different in seeing that in, 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 in Chicago, seeing niggas move? Like, is it, is it way different? It is though, for the simple fact, like Chicago, where I'm from, so it, like, like up here, I'm more relaxed, cause out there, it's like, nigga, it's us versus them, it's, everybody like clicked up, everybody got, it's shit going on, it's politics everywhere in Chicago, so, I mean, ain't no motherfucker trying to really do nothing with you if you fuck with him or you related to them, like, it's always some backdoor shit going on, so you gotta watch, you ain't even trying to really network with a motherfucker that you ain't go to school with and you ain't with every day. For real, for real, cause like, Chicago, motherfucker, man. It, do do people be out? Do it be shit going on like that? Like music Mondays, like shit like that in Chicago, where artists and shit niggas be here going in to get their music popping and shit. Said it used to be, but like it used to be, but not not too much right now. Cause like everybody from Chicago, they get the bag, they leave that motherfucker. Cause Chicago fucked up. <laughs> like everybody get the bag and leave. Like Atlanta motherfuckers still here. Like LA people, like they rep they like. It's just it's just different, man. Like Chicago fucked up. Now I'm tell you like. You'll be surprised in how much of a difference that you see. But then you'll be surprised in how much of similarity yeah, somebody it's else still will see. the same, too, though. You see what I'm it's saying? It's the hood there, well. It's just, it's just, <laughs> now I'm talking about in the makeup of how you're saying it is. It's like, like, this shit fucked up down here. Man, you could have fooled me, nah, bro. Yeah. Like nah, this shit's fucked up. Fuck this now. shit is fucked oh. up down here, dog. You know what I'm saying? I just think that the radius of what go on in Atlanta is bigger than the radius of what go on in Chicago. You see what I'm saying? On the music side. You know what I'm saying? That, so that's why I think even, yeah, like that is on special, it's definitely on the on music, music side. side yeah. You see what I'm saying? But that music side here expands the radius even more because niggas who be saying they from Atlanta really don't be from Atlanta. They be really on like on the outskirts of Atlanta. Yeah. 
You see what I'm saying? Then they start migrating towards the outskirts, right on the border. Then they start moving on in. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, so that talk. radius start, start stretching. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's why Atlanta is so big, but in the, in the instance, it's so fucking small because everybody doing the same shit. Like you say, these niggas into it with these niggas, these niggas into it with these niggas, these niggas is mad at these niggas because this nigga fuck with this nigga, but he don't like these niggas because yep. he fuck with this nigga. Yep. It's the same shit going on down here. You see what I'm saying? It's the same shit going on down here. It's so much that niggas just do their own thing. I'm going to fuck with who I fuck with, but I'm going to just do my own thing. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's kind of who it is. If you fuck with me, we're going to fuck with each other. I think that's why it's so easier for niggas in Atlanta to accept niggas who not from Atlanta easier because it it don't it ain't no damn man but shit y'all really fuck with don't he might be trying to work one on me you yeah. don't got to deal with too many of that that politics shit you see what I'm saying so I, I think it's about it's, it's about that's, the same but that's that's then again that's probably why Chicago niggas rather fuck with out of town niggas because they ain't got real about no back door shit they ain't got real about that shit niggas ain't ever thought about it like that have it huh you ever thought about it like that what? Like like that, like No. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I just thought like niggas just don't want to see them forget the bag. <laughs> yeah, but that's about the bag at the end of the day. But that's the easiest that's the easiest thing to think. Like nigga all up from the same place. So Let's nigga, why the, the fuck we ain't yeah. got them getting getting together? You know what I'm saying? It'd be because of shit like that. Then like nigga gotta understand when one person do something, you don't have to get put in that position for the for a nigga to do the same thing to you. You be like, but hell no, nah, bro. I ain't fuck with that shit. <laughs> that shit start creating barriers and blocks. Uh -huh. You start saying, nah, I ain't gonna do this and nah, I ain't gonna do that. And to a nigga in the street, I can't say that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I just tell the niggas, you gotta find your niche. You know what I'm saying? I just say, don't always be so quick to say that this is my nigga, so I'm gonna fuck with him forever. Or now nah, I don't know him, he ain't where I'm from, so I ain't gonna fuck with him. Have an open idea because blessings come from all type of different ways. You see what I'm saying? And you gotta be open enough to know when to receive that blessing. You know what I'm saying? So listen, let's do this right here. In apartments, I like to get to know the mm -hmm. person who be sitting down, the person behind the name, the person behind the artistry. You see what I'm saying? Because I just feel like that if a person get to know you, then they'll understand your why. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And it won't be about your music. It won't be about your clothes or your fashion or your business or whatever you're doing. It'll be because, nigga, I like a shot to stand on, so I'm going to support them. You see what I'm saying? How many times have you known an artist, right? And you be like, but I fuck with Shawty. His shit music hard as fuck. Hell yeah. And you start liking the music. The shit, he talk about that shit. You you really feeling this shit. Yeah. You add it on to what you got going on in your life. And you find out this nigga ain't really, really about this shit, dog. But like, that shit be hard aching, dog. It do though, but that's why like I don't really like 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 I, I gotta fuck. I'ma find out, I'm gonna find out who you is first. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna listen to your music. Then I'm gonna let me let me look him up. Let me see what he got going on. Let me see what he had going on. Mm -hmm. Let me see. All right, look, you ain't that well like, motherfucker. Let me see who don't like him. Let me see what they talking about. Like, that's the only going to make me like you more if, if I fuck with your shit. You feel me? Like, like man. You find a connection before you even get yeah, like, involved get in like that. Yeah. Like, that's why they're like, bro, you later say like, Who burns you? Who burns you, though? Give me who burns you. <laughs> man, I, don't, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> How long it been? How long <laughs> it been since, since they burns you? Whoever bro, it was. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like, no cap. I ain't going to drop no name because I ain't. Yeah, no, nah, it's, cool. it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It be a lot of motherfuckers that ain't. Ain't going to kill shit, don't want to watch shit die, man. They just be talking that shit, man. That shit be this hard, dog. Hey, man, get your bag, man. I'll but when they you. figure it out, man. Hey. <laughs> but see, that's the, I think that's the problem with music right now. You got a side of music of niggas who really live in this shit they talking about being actual in their music. So when you listen to their music, you can really relate to them mm -hmm. because the shit they talk about in their music is shit that they're really doing. Yeah. Then... And that's what, and that is what niggas call hip hop, like yeah. that's hip hop mixed with the lyrics. You see what I'm saying? That's some Jay Z, uh, Jay Z. Type, yeah. yeah. Then you got the side of niggas who is pretending to be this shit, and they just acting. Mm -hmm. But they know they acting, but they telling everybody on interviews and videos and shit that they really about this but shit. I look at that shit like that's the old school shit, cause. Like the old school rappers, they real life was just good with words, and like they read they books and shit. These young niggas, yeah. man, motherfuckers out here really stretching shit and going to the studio saying "fuck your dead homie." I'm smoking him. We smoked that. We did that. I fucked your bitch, and it be facts to it. So like you can't say a lot of more like niggas don't be fake. They just don't be as real as they claim to be. Like you just the nigga that was there when it happened. You ain't the nigga that did nothing. Would have happened. You the nigga that was on the block when they jumped in the cars to slide. You ain't getting that car. You yeah. ain't gonna. Come on, man. You feel you just a nigga with the words, man. 
That's how I look at it. But think about this. I'm gonna bring in perspective. The reason I say I'm 38. So I was born in the '80s, so I got a chance to see when hip hop started. Mm -hmm. When they, I got a chance to see the '90s when shit started getting gangster, and that's when I was a teen. So that's when I'm seeing most of shit going on. When I was growing up, if a nigga said they was selling dope on music. They, they was selling, selling dope. dope in real life. <laughs> if a nigga said he was pimping on his music, nigga was pimping yeah. in real yeah. life. If a nigga said he was sliding on shit in his music, he was sliding on shit in real life. So I, when I hear music, I relate to what you're telling me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you, unless you, unless you, uh, unless you somebody like, like, like I'm, I'm just saying like Dro, like Dro, he rap, he's a rapper, like he entertaining, yeah, young Dro. Oh yeah, I remember him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you know, he gonna give you the lyrics, he gonna give you the fashion and shit, like his character. He ain't giving you, I do this, I do this, I do that. He giving you, I'm an entertainer. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a girl. Yeah, 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 you see what I'm saying? But it be niggas who come down here talking about, I'm a gangster, I'm gonna do this, I'm sliding, I'm do, 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 do. And them niggas really don't be about that shit. And when you listening, and you's like, shout got down, shout shout doing this shit. Then when you find out, you like, it, it, like I say, you don't have to go through a mistake twice. You be like, Nah, I'm gonna see who shot is. Now you start doing like you doing. Nah, I'm gonna see who the fuck this nigga is. The only reason I do that because a lot of these rappers then got a lot of motherfuckers killed. Thanks. Like, like, cause you ain't like that, but you with me, so we gotta make sure you straight. So I'm about to get smoked. He gonna get smoked. He gonna die. He gonna. And you ain't even about that shit. You could have toned that shit down. You feel me? Like that's that's just how I be with that shit, bro. I tell them, like my little homies that be rapping. I be hey, we fucked them up, but we ain't gonna put their name in on something. We ain't on that. You nah, feel me? Like nah. we gonna keep it smooth, bro. Like nah. handle shit like the mob. Yeah. Facts, like the fuck them up. And, and then. Ain't gonna be no killing without killing, man. Nah, so hell all nah. that, man, that, ain't nobody chest bigger than nobody's in these streets, man. And then you gotta understand at the same time, too, is when you're doing that, you implement yourself in the crime. Yeah. Making yourself hot. And that's the stupidest shit in the world. And man. you can't be a gangster doing ignorant shit. It's impossible. Gangster is a, gangster is a, it's a mental. It ain't about doing that to somebody. Cause I know niggas who work a nine to five every day. You don't fuck with nobody, do nothing. But if you play with them, I'm, I'm slide on your stool, they gonna knock your shit loose. But they gonna say, yeah, I ain't no gangster, gotta, bro. But you gotta realize, a lot of them niggas with them jobs is the niggas that used to get real busy. That this shit just got too out of hand. Cause when you lock up all the big homies and big homies dying off, you ain't, ain't nobody to talk to anybody. You feel me? Like it's like ain't no leadership. Uh, right. So it's like a lot of renegade shit going on out here. So a nigga really trying to fall back and. That don't have that shit, but don't play with me type shit. You feel me? That's not Chicago really is though. That's everywhere. Niggas getting that money, getting to their bag. Niggas getting to the bag. Don't play with me, Joe. That with them shorties, you, like the, it's the shorty shit. With the, I hate the grown motherfuckers that be yeah. doing the shorty shit. Like facts, on, bro. Like, facts, facts. The old nigga doing the young yeah, nigga shit. That, that be the, that be the worst, bro. You just named everything. That ain't just where you from. That's everywhere. That's, that, that's what I went on there. But now, that's I what I'm saying. Yeah, man. but see, that's what I'm telling you. The same thing you explain, the same thing going on here. This shit is getting out of control. I don't try to put myself in no shit, so I'm going to just stay out these young niggas' way. But. That's this, when you got a voice. Like, like, but it's, that's what I'm finna say, man, get I got to. A voice. I see, it's cool to, to do that. I told you, put that motherfucker down there, go sit your ass. I can do that. They'll make you OG. But see, they'll make you OG. That's what make you OG that's though. That's why they fuck with me. That's what make you an OG. I'm a real one. You see what I'm saying? And see, you can't be one of them type of niggas who do say fall back and then call yourself an OG. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? You can't be like, oh, but I'm the goddamn big home on goddamn on the south side over here. <laughs> nah, bro, you just the old. You said the you the unk. That what you. you that the unks. The unks is the old niggas with the knowledge. Okay, we finna classify this shit now. I'm breaking it down right here in the apartment parlay. Me and Breezy, this is what it is. Okay. Unk, a unk is a nigga who got the knowledge, who grew up in the hood, who have the knowledge of everything that went on, and but don't want and been around beginning. since the beginning, <laughs> but don't want to give game to the young niggas. You a unk. If you a nigga who don't been around, been through that shit, and you the one who who stay to advocate for these young niggas and try to give these young nigga game and direction, that make you an OG. So if goddamn it, if you a nigga who listens to the show, that's how you gonna decipher. So guess what? If you if you on the unk stage. It's cool right now. <laughs> you might want to start goddamn living that bitch up and going to goddamn OG status, dog. Cause Are y'all nigga gonna be unk? Cause the unk is the reason why this bitch fucked up. The unks is the reason why this bitch fucked up. Them big old motherfucking facts. Yeah. Now nah, them big old fucking facts. He was just she said drop one of the bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drop one of the bitch. It, it, it's dog ass <laughs> truth, ain't it, dog? Goddamn, hell yeah. Hey, so all you young niggas gotta start differentiating the unks, the difference between the unks and the OGs, and start telling nigga, oh, no, nah, you're unk. 
Yeah. Then when he get mad at you, say, no, nah, ain't no disrespect to you, but you're an uncle because you don't get gang enough. You don't say nothing to us, bro. So it make you an uncle, bro. You ain't no yeah, OG. Milk in the hood. You just milk in the hood, dog. Oh, you, doing? you see what I'm saying? Because if you ain't helping, you're in the way, being honest. You see what yeah, I'm saying? That's the last thing you want to be is an in the way ass nigga. I ain't going to lie to you. Facts. So let's do this right here. Because if you're in the way, motherfucker going to get you out the way. No, definitely. Oh, sooner or later. <laughs> no, sooner. It, when you're in the way, you're going to remove yourself. Somebody's going to remove you. you definitely. Some point in time. Happen. You see what I'm saying? There's three people who can remove you. Yourself, a nigga, or the police. One or the other. But eventually, one of the motherfuckers got to come. Something's some going to happen. Something's going to happen. So let's let's get to, okay, we, I know you're from Chicago. Let's get to what part of Chicago you're from. Northwest, bro. You know what I'm saying? Probably goddamn. Whatever. The stuff the stuff that you've seen growing up mm. to goddamn influence. I'm talking about preteen. Before you got 12, 13, 14, like the stuff you've seen growing uh, up. I, I'm from um, Chicago out west. Off Chicago Avenue in Laramie. From Laramie to motherfucking Cicero. But from Cicero to Central, Central to Austin, I mean Cicero to Austin, everybody know what's going on, you feel me? But like, growing up, motherfucker really was hooping and shit. Like, everybody used to hoop, bro, so it ain't no nothing. That's Chicago. Nobody. It's Chicago, bro. Yeah. Everyone yeah. ain't want to be like D-Rose or some motherfucker. Yeah. But, so, um, I grew up, when I grew up, shit, I was one of the last, like, to see, like, motherfucking blocks doing, like, a real 15, 20 bucks a day. Like, niggas say that shit, though, ain't nobody doing that shit, no type of numbers like that on a block, because they, yeah. they shut that shit down, the feds yeah. came through. But I seen a lot of, like, I used to look up to all the big homies, like, they coming through with the new charges, they come through with all the shit, the J on the whole, like, you feel me? You just look up to, like, that type of shit. So, like, you ain't really see it, you ain't really see a lot of murders back then, you feel me? Like, motherfucker was dying, though, but not like it is now, it's like, it's cool now, like, everybody dying. It's, everybody, a, it's a trend, Everybody man. in the race to die now, so, yeah. like, motherfucker used to be in the race to get some money, so now everybody in the race to die, so everybody gonna diss they dead homies and... All that little kid shit, I ain't, you feel me? We get yeah. to the back. Who's some of the niggas you be pulling up on the block that you used to be seeing? Um, you talking about like the OG? Yeah. Like, um, my pops, Cliff, um, Tree, Donnie, Dre, um, Tyere, um, shit, my daddy was OG, <laughs> like, you feel know me? And the reason I say that because this is apartment, and we talking about the shit we talking about, we won't be able I'll to do the shit we Dre. doing, oh, you know what I'm saying, yeah. without, 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 Paying homage to the nigga who paid way for us. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? No matter how small or how big they ever got, because if they ain't do what they did, we wouldn't be able to do this. If he wasn't doing what he did, we wouldn't that's, be able to do this. So that shit important. You know what I'm saying? They definitely laid the laid the laid out laid the lick down for us, like on the avenue, like for the like generations after them. You know, like niggas, motherfucker, like we like we stay putting the belt on motherfuckers. You feel me? Like we gonna put the belt on you. We ain't gonna fuck around. So yeah. Then like if it get too see, we probably like one of the last hoods with like the big dogs still there. Like a couple of them still left, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Of course, free tie ball, we doing like 35, he on his way home though, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So um, we got a little guidance left, you feel me? We got a little bit of guidance, so we, we put a belt on motherfuckers. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you another thing, just like we were talking about before. Like, when niggas think Chicago now, like they immediately think 64th, 63rd, and yeah. like this, they, yeah. this the mental right now. Yeah. Like this, just hey, that was Chicago. Shout out um, recipes, um, King Von, shout out Von, Chief Keith, and Thanks. Dirt. They like they put on for they, they put on for their hood. That's why yeah. you can't take nothing from them. But at the same time, we talking about Chicago. Chicago is the biggest, smallest city in in, in the world, bro. Like the biggest, smallest. Every, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Every hood get busy, bro. It ain't not a hood in Chicago that that don't get busy. All that we up, that shit don't mean nothing. Cause once you lose somebody, you can't get them back. So you gonna always be losing. Everybody dealing with trauma. Everybody in Chicago, every hood like that, bro. Every hood got one or two, three, four, five motherfuckers that get busy, bro. Don't let nobody get it. Don't get it twisted, bro. That's everywhere. If, if 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 you can't say the ops ain't no shit. Cause if the ops want no shit, you won't be riding around with that bitch on your head day. Yeah, nah. Motherfucker, knock your shit back, man. They got them switches out there, bro. Like. That shit for real, bro. Like, like, <laughs> money, you got no I ain't, I ain't, like we ain't trying to brag on it, but nah, man, Chicago it, motherfucker, man, that bitch, you gotta be a I'm dog not, to make it out there, man. No you gotta be a dog, bro. No I've been dealing with trauma since my uncle died, and um, probably '98. Mm -hmm. So I really don't. That's why I don't really like big on clubs and all that goof ass shit, cause that's how he died, and I learned from other people's mistakes. What happened to your uncle if you if you don't mind talking um, about it? And with my daddy, um, they was at a little club in the, in the hood. Probably like five minutes from the block. And, um, shit, you know, my daddy was getting money as nigga. My uncle was like a, like a enforcer type, you feel me? So, they, uh, anyway, they ain't gonna throw no names. Ain't gonna, you feel yeah, yeah, we'll just talk about the situation. They threw yeah. down on him. My daddy got hit. My uncle got hit. My uncle checked, though. I told him, 10, 98. My daddy still, he still here, you feel me? But, man, that shit fucked him up mentally, though. You feel me? Lost your brother. So, that's just how it is. So, I've been dealing with that. How old you was when that shit happened? 
Shit, I don't know, man. Let me tell you something. I'm I'm young enough to know what what the white card is about, but grown enough not to put rims on it. Yeah, you talking about? That man, talk, speak on now. Nah, speak <laughs> on it now. Nah. Hey, hey, get what? Like we said at the beginning, like we said before, when we start talking about this shit. Yeah. Like, hey, man, I guess what? I understand. I know. So, hey, man. Mm -hmm. Got them. Say less. No, I would say say less. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> hey, about them. My word. Say less. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You gotta, um, yeah. So that shit kind of, that shit stains your that mind to be like, up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, like all the party and shit, like nigga. We used to like like 2013, 2014, Chicago still like out west was still cracking as far as like bitches pulling like the whole south side. Everybody come out west to party because you come party out south. Now out west just as bad as out if not it's worse than out south because I'm from the Austin area and we got if you look up the map not the bragging but we got more murders than Inglewood. West Garfield, Humboldt, all them all neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Inglewood is where uh, it's like Dirk now. Mm -hmm. We got more murders than all them, bro. Like the Austin area, small as hell from Cicero to Austin, bro. You'll get your shit knocked off. How far is that from um, 63rd, 64th, all that is? Shit, um, you looking at it like a. It ain't, if it ain't no traffic, you get on the E-way, you probably be there in like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so it ain't really, ain't really that far oh, out for us. Chicago, the biggest, smallest city, bro. Like that's why niggas getting their ass knocked out. Nah, we, I, I think, I think we on y'all bumping for that. No, man. biggest, smallest city. Yeah, shit, this is small this shit Chicago is small is. as fuck, dog. And it's overcrowded, overpopulated. This this motherfucker they, too. They made that Corona shit for Chicago. It's too crowded. <laughs> they, <laughs> shit, they made that motherfucker over here. You see, <laughs> you see, you see what's going. That's why I say you'll be surprised at how much different you'll see by how many similarities somebody else will see. You know what I'm saying? Because for niggas to be like Atlanta is so big, this motherfucker this big, dog. This motherfucker, this motherfucker is small, I dog. I dog, this motherfucker this small, bro. It ain't, it ain't. And then that be that, but then again, that be from you grew up in this motherfucker, so you know mm -hmm. everybody. That's that's why though, like Chicago, I swear, I feel like I know every motherfucking body, bro. Like everywhere you go, somebody gonna know you. You go downtown, yeah. it ain't, it ain't no, it ain't not a yeah. place. Safe yeah. in Chicago, bro. Nah, you get ain't. your ass stressed on your block, on your ops block, in front of the police station, in front of the fire station, the hospitals, niggas getting shot. You get your ass stressed downtown. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, like, shit. Downtown, hey, niggas getting their ass killed got, now. So, that like, what y'all, hey, the nigga check got down. Nigga check got, and Lennox, you know, Lennox, all, that's like our yeah. bougie mall. Like, yeah. Nigga, two niggas just got robbed this weekend. Nigga just got shot two times and right in front of the valet this weekend. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, you'll you'll be surprised at how many differences you'll see by sim how many similarities. Like, this shit is, that's why, bro, like, Atlanta, it's always been going down here, but I don't think it ain't never been this bad, dog. You know what I'm saying? Cause, because, like, usually, like, in the 90s, in the 90s, East Atlanta, East Atlanta and West Atlanta was, like, you know, in the 90s when the dope was here, you know, niggas was dying anyway. But then we had a situation where some niggas from Miami, somebody from Miami came up here. Mm -hmm. They brought automatic machine guns, um, tech nine, and bricks. Fucked and up. they just came to every hood and, like, <laughs> nigga, get down and lay down. Yeah. Like, not, like on some movie shit, dog. Like, nigga, get down and lay down. Nigga, we in y'all hood, nigga. Y'all gonna buy this dope, nigga, we kill y'all niggas. <laughs> and nigga, some niggas fuck with them. They walk with some niggas, took some blocks. Niggas killed them niggas like it went down like that. Right. You see what I'm saying? But as it's, it's shit start coming on, as shit start coming on, the west side start being like the prominent place where the shit was really That's going on. Yeah. Like, it be like, start being like, don't, you don't go over there. Like, nah, dog, this shit. Like, it happened over here, but it's probably 10 to 15 times more likely to happen over here. You see what I'm saying? And then what start happening is, like you say, same thing like happened in Chicago. Shit went from the west side, south side, east side. Now shit, niggas in Marietta killing. <laughs> niggas in goddamn car. Kind of like niggas in the outskirts. It's kid, like, this shit is getting bad. Yeah, they made it cool to kill, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, I'm just, like y'all like, nah, like, I, nah we're, gonna go, we're gonna go back. Yeah, we're gonna go back to that. Hey, everybody's just in the race to die. Everybody in the race to die, man. I'm like, trying to get the bag, man. I'm trying to tell you. I, I like that phrase. Like, everybody, everybody in the race to die, die. man. Yeah. Facts. Let's watch it. All you do is sit back and look on it. No, I see everybody, it. Everybody, man. Look. I see it. Everybody posting their thing. You know, uh, right man. to jail, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get what? I'm watching this shit. Uh, like I say, I've been, I've been in the street for real since about 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? Like, really at this moment. Uh, about 15, mm -hmm. for real. Not like, not at this motherfucker, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Just carrying toes. scraps, yeah. trapping, you know, being involved. But, you know, I was, I'm smart, so I was still school. I was still balancing. 
Right. You see what I'm saying? I was still balancing. Cause I ended up going to college and everything. Right, that's right, that's right. how I even started I, rapping. I, I, um, yeah, I started rapping because shit, I got tired of I, I got tired of running shit. I said, man, fuck this shit. Walked off the court. Just started I rapping. Walked, yeah. That's that's how I got introduced to rapping. All my homies was like, some of my homies had just started rapping. Uh -huh. You had the salsa, the dirk, and all that shit going crazy. Cause shit, oh shit, I. Jumped the line. Shit, shit. You might well fuck that shit. <laughs> that same way a lot of niggas went down here. Man. Okay, boom. Okay, let's go back to boom. All right, boom. Let's go back to you. So you grew up, send out all the, all the big homies, niggas pull up on the block, Charles and shit. You sent you, you was the last era of really seeing niggas yeah. on the block all yeah, day. Man. Jay's pulling up, niggas yeah. being these niggas get money, these niggas yeah. getting money, and you. You were seeing that shit, niggas big bankroll, niggas cooling. Yeah, it might be a problem every time they get out of line, but. It was about the, the regular hood hot is about the money. You know what I'm saying? Then, like this, back then, everybody getting money. That's mm -hmm. when all the parks was crowded. You see number of everybody playing basketball. Like, but once that era was over getting money, the parks is empty. But all them shorty that was hooping, they got switches now, bro. That's as real as it's gonna get. All you do is ride through. There ain't no park. Got n ain't no park crowded. It used to be crowded. Every Sunday, every every day through the week, through the summer, a park was crowded. That shit is over with. Over. They don't even have outside tournaments no more. Hey, shit, Damn. That's, that's when shit. the last time they had an outside tournament in Chicago? Last time I seen one for a tournament in Chicago, probably was like 11, 12. 2011. Probably 2012. That probably when it first started down down. But once once that shit got out west where niggas was popping shit left and right, like I swear it's like, it's like everybody that wanted to help packed up and left. I ain't going to lie to you. Damn. See, because it's... That'd be some hard ass shit to shit, do. Man, I'm telling you. Nah, nigga, you know. I went through some shit, bro. Damn, you had the Quan McDonald shit. It's some shit, bro. Like Chicago, a motherfucker. But Chicago should have been in Mississippi, some motherfucker. Well, it got its own little rules, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, we back. Listen, Tay, man. <laughs> oh, you keep talking, man. I keep thinking Twin Cities, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. Like these just be the same shit down here. Like shit so crazy. And my probably told you, I'm from Born Home, same mm -hmm. place y'all low from. Shop boys. All over the same project, so. Shop boys from that too. Yeah, shop boys from that too. Like, all the, all the shop boys, they all us around the same age. So mm. I seen them growing up. You know what I'm saying? And they was goddamn, they was on the goddamn, um, they was on the car shit. Right. They was on the car side. <laughs> you know, if right. you know what I mean, what I'm saying? Like they was on the car side of shit. I was in, I was on the, I was on the hustling side and the popping nigga shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me and niggas who I was fucking with. But and I grew up watching Shout Low because shit, Low been a big dog since shit, nigga. I was a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout been 18, 17 million dollar big cars. You see what I'm saying? So I yeah, I, yeah, nigga. That's why I, he was like I he was. I was just watching some, uh, I was just watching like a video they had on him on, and, um, like last month, two months ago. Oh no, Shout it, Shout it, big dog. That's what I'm saying. Like I grew up literally. Watching him, like the niggas he naming in songs, my big homies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I don't been in spots, man. Like yeah, it's like this shit. You know what I'm saying. Like we used to beef for low. You know what I'm saying. Like we used to beef for low. Yeah, I used to do diss songs huh. and shit. Pull up. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, like we was into it. Franchise D for well. Like a nigga, we in the same project. When all this shit is going down. Like nigga, I'm seeing these niggas. My my trap spot right here on Walden in between the cut between Walden and Shivers, nigga. And Low got a spot right here on Shivers, and he got a spot right here on Walden. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I, we trapping, Jay, like, all this shit, like, this shit is live. Like, this shit is, like, real shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, all this shit used to be going on. I, let me say this. The beginning of the, all this whole new 2000 era with this music, I can say that most of this music has been directed by shit that we started on Bankhead at the Pool Palace. Like, all these sounds, all the way that shit is sounding and shit, all these cheesy-ass sounds and beats. We started shit on Fruit and Loops. You see what I'm saying? And then when we after white tea, after white tea, and then yeah, um, snap and roll. Yep, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Then goddamn D4L came, bitch, you can't do it like me, Laffy Taffy and Shop Boys and them came. That whole beginning of the 2000 era, you know what I'm saying. That whole sound had been a brand new sound. You see what I'm saying. Other than other than that, like Chicago, y'all got y'all drill sound, like mm -hmm. this y'all shit. You see what I'm saying. Like they can't nobody else say they make music like that. You know what I'm saying? Like now that shit don't rolled off. Now New York niggas is starting yeah, to copy that shit yeah, more. With the London beats exactly. Shit, yeah. Because that is it's, that's more compatible with them than the shit the music that we sound mm -hmm. sound like. You see what I'm saying? But, but then, I would say that my bad. Mm -hmm. But the Atlanta sound is the out west sound of Chicago. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention, like like Atlanta It's the base. Like 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 my producer, my my no, go to producer is my cousin, Cicero on the beat. He sound 808 Mafia. Yeah, that right boy Cicero. Yeah, so yeah. 
you could just imagine before he even moved down here, like, I could show you some shit from 12. Our beats, like, always sounded like yeah. futuristic type yeah. shit. So that's yeah. why, that's why, like, they tried to, they tried to call it, like, bop music or some shit. They thought they tried to say I started bop music, but it was really just a future Rick's ass. Yeah, yeah. Just put a name Everybody to it. just got they put their yeah. own swag to shit. You know what I'm saying? But like that sound is what goddamn started niggas to you know start moving that sound. But the whole goddamn time, all these niggas were doing is all us from the same project. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm low and low is what's really like. Low was really like that nigga. Like everybody knew. Um, born home Carlo. Everybody knew Bon Home Carlo. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Low tried to sign us. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm just one of them people that like I wanna do it my way. Like how I wanna do it. That's I am. You see what I'm saying? So we always fuck with each other, you know what I'm saying? And then like I say, this this shit used to be some crazy shit. Like it's some street shit used to go down by that shit. Like it like but Charlo was a Real big dog. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like when you um, uh, like I thought I got done researching them and shit. Cause mm-hmm. you know I'd be like, oh, yeah, damn, yeah, what happened? Yeah. To, I, yeah. I remember he died during the car crash yep. in the Porsche. I think. Mm-hmm. I remember he died in the car crash, but like it just done. I'm like, damn, what? Let me go. Let me see what they got on me. You feel me? Like, damn, that shit. That's fucked up. Though. Nah, like, yeah, I like, yeah. but I ain't gonna. You feel me? Ain't gonna yeah. I know the shot of low that niggas <laughs> don't know though. Right. I ain't, they know the they know the rat. They know shot of low. No, no, I know Carlo. I know Carlo Walker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know Carlo. He got niggas around him with his name tattooed on them. You know what I'm saying? You like that? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, this, he on some real, like, I ain't like on some real mafia shit. Like, right. when he moved, niggas, everybody else moved. Nigga, he snapped the finger he point, that, nigga, just go. Beautiful. Like, oh, no, the real deal. Yeah, yeah. Big big money shot him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The dice game, two, three hundred thousand type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Carlo. I'm going to tell you this. Swear to God, everything I love. Carlo, the first person I ever seen. Charlotte Lowe, the first person I ever seen do the Euro step in basketball. That shit Jay Harden do? Hell no. Nah. I swear. <laughs> I swear when we, at this interview. I thought, I, I thought he was like, yeah, hey, no, I'm going to block that shit. No, no, <laughs> dog. Listen, when we get out of the, at this interview, I'm going to call somebody and I'm going to ask them. And they're going to be like, and, and, and me, Jay, thinking about this. They ain't even thought about this. They're going to watch what you say. You're going to get what? But Paul ain't going to put no cap on that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you know who know me. I ain't going to put no cap. Cicero, no. Cicero, no. Cicero used to do all the beats for the niggas in the nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I used to be at Cicero, no. <laughs> Cicero, partner, partner is my buzz on. Like, Cicero, no. You know what I'm saying? You got Cicero. Yeah, Cicero tell you, oh, no, nah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, boom. Okay, now, boom, what high school you went to in Chicago? Oh, oh. I went to a few high schools, to be honest. Uh-huh. But, yeah, for the main part, oh, that's where I graduated from. So, where you hooked that? You hooked at all the motherfuckers, too? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be so much shit when you go to those different schools, you in a different neighborhood, so hopefully this ain't you feel me, shit ain't right, so you gotta get up out of there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well what all hoods you end up going to school, high school and what you what hood you talk about? I went to school in the four hood, four corner hood, went to school and oil was like cool cause on the Ave it's right down the street, you feel me? So I went to oil, on um, Vice Lord, and then I went to school with the travelers all the way on them, like towards California, like where they travel is strong at, so my former, that's manly, so shit. Mm-hmm. It should be a lot of shit. Like, then you finally get good in school, but now that motherfucking bus ride home, a motherfucker, so you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta lace yeah. them up. Mm-hmm. And then for everybody who listen to, I know, like, the shit you saying, I'm understanding, because we and we share that same, we share, we share that bond, like, so. But I know people who listen to it, hearing what you're saying, and they think that you're talking about streets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he ain't talking about streets. I'm gonna rephrase again. And the reason I'm doing this is because even though we understand it's gonna be somebody who's listening, who's trying to keep up with what we're right. talking about, yeah. who's not gonna understand. No, and they're no. gonna be trying to look at this shit up and shit. You know what I'm saying? He a VL, so what he's saying is is like these is the different varieties of his hood and, and where the schools at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when he's saying four corners and travelers, he talking about different sets and, and shit. And if yeah. I'm telling y'all I transferred because all the shit was going on, and and the fucking mayor just shut down. Then at all the schools, bro, and forcing everybody to go to the same schools. Wow, that's what's fucking these kids up, bro. Like I'm trying to tell you. And you, what well, you bringing it to the school? Chicago fucked up, bro. Yeah, you bring it to the school. Chicago fucked up. Yeah, you bring it to the school. Nah, Chicago fucked up. So many difference, they the differences. Bronx Chicago, baby. They dropped them. They dropped them motherfuckers. Do some gunshots too. Do some gunshots too in that motherfucker. Yeah, they fucked up, man. 
You'll be crazy how many differences you see and how many similarities that, that we see. The same way, my high school, Doug, on the west side. I got the most popular high school mm-hmm. on the west side of Atlanta. You know, fuck, nobody say it. Somebody from other school be like, oh, my school, but they're not going to say that my shit won't pop it. Right. Like, these teachers are calling me now, bro. First two weeks of school was like 30 fights. That's better than my school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's stretched. I, I, but that, I, I definitely. Definitely, if you got every mother, everybody going to one school, shit, so nigga, not, hell yeah, you gonna bring it. Then, then y'all nigga, they start real young up though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they start, they young down here, but their young is not active like y'all young is active. Because the active young down here is gonna have somebody a little bit older than them, right. or niggas way older than them, who's gonna be like, no, nah, you chill, you just hang around. You know what I'm saying? Y'all young active is like really active. And that's that's the difference. That's just because the shit went from gangs to clicks. So once your homie die, y'all this game. You feel me? So y'all get y'all save y'all money, do what y'all do, steal y'all hot cars, get y'all straps, and y'all gonna get to get back for him. But it's gonna make y'all get into it with them. Once somebody die from nothing, now they got their own click. Now that's two on one. Like it's gonna keep like branching and branching. It's fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna yeah. like you gotta really know what you're doing out there. That's why I be saying, like, can't no one man tell you you good in Chicago, cause don't know one man run Chicago. Them jewels. Don't know one man rush car with them. Um, that's the real shit. Don't know one man rush car with them. Niggas trying to run up out there, man. Nah, don't jewels. That, was, <laughs> that made me think about some shit. Uh, I think it was. I think I heard a story. I'm, I'm, I might not be on point, but I'm in the right vicinity. I say, goddamn, me ask Dirt, am I? Uh, I'm gonna come to Chicago. Am I gonna be cool? And Dirt said, <laughs> shit, nigga, I don't know. Like, dude, you got cut him over at your own risk, you but I, I can't tell you gonna be cool, nigga. Yeah, shit might go down. Shout out to Dirt, cause like. <laughs> Oh fuck! If it was that sweet for Dirk, he'd still be living up. Like yeah. that shit ain't that shit. Chicago, a motherfucker, bro. And yeah. then when you get your bag, you probably better off to leave and try to from a distance help Chicago. But Chicago fucked up. Yeah. Shout out to that boy Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Dirk used to tap in with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to y'all. Yeah, I, I, I fuck with yeah. Dirk. Like yeah. I don't, I ain't got nothing to do with they beefs and shit. But I fuck with Dirk because I fuck with his brother D thing. The one mm-hmm. just got he just got killed. That was my homie. Check on me like once or twice. We feel him a week. It was cool people, you feel me? So like, it's always fucked up, but Chicago like that, bro. Like, you never know. Facts, you facts. never know. Facts. So you gotta move like, you gotta move like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you gotta move like in silence, like a ninja. Move, yeah, like yeah. I told you, like, everybody calling me now because they ain't seen me in two days. I've been in Atlanta the last two days. So they gonna know what the fuck going on. You can't even post where you at, you feel me? Facts. Like, yeah, yeah. Like oh, no, nah, yeah, yeah, the shit like that. And then, like, this the motherfucker, Atlanta is, this, Atlanta is the place, too, that. Whatever you got going on at home, I'll follow you. Yeah. Atlanta one of the places too. That. Why you know I know that's true? Because yeah, I could, I could look off a fake page on all the us page and I could see that they be in Atlanta. They be in Houston, they be everywhere, you feel me? So like, you gotta like, cause everybody got that bread. So everybody traveling, like they doing Thanks. their thing. Like, like maybe they tapping in with motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. So like, I ain't. This is my first time out here, but I had already tapped in with the brothers that's out here. But you gonna be good anyway because you don't understand your cousin Cicero. Yeah, like, you you ain't understand like he around like yeah yeah. That's Cicero. Like, he he don't know. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That, that's my blood. Yeah, man. but I, I'm I'm well, telling. Well, but see, but I'm telling you like yeah, he, like he been with, like whatever you want to know. Not like he don't been around the yeah. ones. Like he done been around like. Yeah, like he probably tell you some shit that niggas can't tell you. Like mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like he can. So if you want a nigga to rely on, or you can really trust his word and shit that he telling you in direction. Like if you don't know, like I'm just telling you this because yeah. I know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I had tapped in with the brothers though. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I probably got up there two weeks ago, but something came up. So mm-hmm. tapped in with the brothers. They already know. Like I'm straight. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I'm a real There's a little homies on my side too. Uh, you might be around since bro too. It's just so crazy too today. <laughs> They from they from up there. They, they on the mm-hmm. video side too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part about it. One of my little partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah. Um, Suave Rambo, my boy Rambo from Memphis. He just moved yeah. out. So okay. Yeah, yeah tapping in. Jimmy, all on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, tap in, man. Definitely tap in, man. We gotta get a nigga in the apartment. Yeah, Rambo 500, Suave and Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. man. We gotta tap them niggas in. What age you was when you started rapping? Young enough to know the right part of battle, grown enough not to put rims on it. Fuck you talking about, man. <laughs> hey, listen, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it no more. Yes, I ain't gonna do it no more. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna do it no more. The more. So boom, I remember. Boom, see everybody rapping. Fuck this basketball shit. Yeah. Boom, I'm going to the motherfucker for start. Goddamn, yeah. I'm doing the music shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What was your first introduction to the music that make you just be like, 
I you know what? what? I, yeah. Man, Damn. <laughs> you already there with me. Chief Keith and Dirk. Uh, <laughs> I heard that. Because at first, you got to realize we growing up, we listen to little Wayne, Jeezy. It's the mainstream just shit. To all that shit. You feel me? You motherfucker ain't about to rap like Wayne, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah, nah. try. Like, you, that nigga cold. Like, yeah, yeah. it's cold blooded lyricists. You feel me? So, but when Sosa no came with that shit, I thought, I can do that shit too. Some shit. I was like, I was like, shit, the easy way out. To be honest, bro, like, like, Sosa made this shit easy. To make shit bro. easy for you. Yeah, and they put the light on Chicago for real. Like, what was the, um, it was Sosa, Dirk, Reese, Fredo. Yeah. Um, yeah, for the most part, yeah. Sosa, Sosa, Reese. I think it was Reese for a Dirk run. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, see, y'all different, so we hear different. Dirk, I was fucking, see, I actually was fucking with Dirk shit more than Sosa shit, even though Sosa was the hottest, because. It seemed like Dirk was like, it seemed like he was by himself with the shit, you feel me? But they from the same, so I, I tapped in more to what he got going on. Cause I like the auto tune shit too. I, you ain't got to explain it. I know why. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with you. I told you, man, we're about in the same difference. So mentally, I'm already understand. When you tell, when you say, what? I'm old enough to understand, understand this shit, too. So. I, 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 I'm old enough to understand when person, motherfuckers say certain things, mm. I decipher very well. Right. You see what I'm saying? No disrespect to nothing, but mm. I decipher very well what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Because down here, it was like, it was, it was Sosa. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you in the hood, like, that's how I found it. Going to the apartment, it's apartment Sosa. It's Sosa. Oh, this is the nigga who be with him. This nigga who be with him. Oh, them nigga doing that. Oh, but them nigga really, yeah, look yeah. at this shit. But watch out the video. But these niggas, he be, but them niggas shit really about that shit too. Then that's how I really start understanding. I come in the spot. And I, it's 12 hours. Only thing we sit in the spot and we going over the video and this nigga explaining what's going on yeah. and this going <laughs> on and, and niggas is getting tuned. So when niggas start, and like Dirt was one of the last ones that I end up getting on to. And then he ended up moving. Then what happened is, one of my homies ended up running into Dirk, and he called me. Mm -hmm. Then he introduced me to Dirk, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying. And Dirk was just—he was like he was just getting down here too. Right. You know what I'm saying. I came down here, you know, I move how I move. Dirk was just like, shit, like, like, <laughs> oh yeah, these niggas move. I'm fucking mm -hmm. with this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dirk was real nigga. Nah, bro, definitely. Dirk and then every time he'll come, he'll hit me and we'll move like on some. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I got it. I'm going here. Like, all right, we're going to pull up. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? We pull up. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I built the bond. That's how I built the bond with him. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Then that's when all the little shit started happening with them. And then that's when Shawty really just started, goddamn dirt just really started yeah. fucking taking off. Like, you know Dirk, what I'm saying? Dirt got in his bag on their ass. No, he definitely, yeah. definitely, he definitely did. What was your first big song that the hood, that, that the hood started fucking with? I had a song called Having Shit. Mm -hmm. I had a song called Having Shit. That was like the first one. Like, that went like crazy. I had a song called Ball Out, but this what introduced me to what the business was, so I got that shit. My foot tried to really finesse me out the song. What do you do? Me being young and dumb, bro, I'm not thinking like, I'm on the song, it don't fucking matter. Like, it's gonna go where it's gonna go, I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. I'm thinking like, hold on, bitch, I just wrote this whole song, I'm on the song. My cameraman shot the video, my cousin made the beat, you gonna sit up here and tell me I'm featuring on a song that I can't, you know, hell no. This what tried to tell me, like, no, nah, you tweaking, but you know, me being me, I come from out west. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like, <laughs> he like, yeah, nah, that shit don't, nah, don't make like, sense to me. Like, the, the OGs of rap from Chicago, from out west, is do or die. Mm -hmm. conflict, no disrespect to them, but like, nigga, I watched, I know their story. I've been around them, I know them, B Lo, AK, Koha, I know them, so like, if I feel like this music about to give me some money, I ain't about to let you play me on my money, so I shut that shit down. That shit fell back. Shit, then we start warring. Getting the two of motherfuckers left and right. So every time you try to get some traction, back in this shit. Back then, so you got back the backstage. In back in this shit. Saying? Started back up. Niggas playing crazy. Boom. Knock him off. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now you okay. Gotta deal with that rip okay, so boom. Like? All right, I'm just putting them in for people watching. Just, you know, put them in perspective and understand. Because <laughs> I know too that they'll hear us talking it and saying what we saying and they'll be like, what? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> what the hell they talking about? Okay, shit going on. You run into a situation where Niggas try to come rob you. Yeah. All right. In the store. You know what I'm saying? You know, in the store. And they try to rob you and it didn't end well for them. No. Can you can you talk about the situation? Not not necessarily what happened, but the way that it happened. Oh, this shit, this shit happened kind of wicked though, cause like it was on April 24th. I could talk about this nigga's ass. Oh what? So Shorty ass is tweaking. Like, nigga, he would like. Well, no, that's breezy. You tweet like everybody know me, especially y'all West, bro. Like, nigga, 
He say, you twig. He say, hell no. Nah. He say, give me the pipe. Once he, he snatched the pipe, tried to rob my father. Knocked his head off, you feel me? Here's what it is. They locked us in the stove, ran the camera, let a motherfucker go, like three days later. Shout out to my brother, um, Lil Larry, he sent me the lawyer, you feel me? Make sure everything was straight, but everything was cool. And shit, fast forward a year and a half later, two, two, I don't know what the fuck they was on, but you know, the Moose Knuckles was hot, you feel me? Had my Moose Knuckle on Chicago, envious for motherfucker. They known for robbing motherfuckers for their mics, their coats, remember that shit? Like, motherfuckers get yeah, robbed for their. Motherfucker get robbed, get took out your shit, sent home in the cold, you feel me? Uh, so naked, so ain't nobody take nothing for you no more, bro. I got robbed as a shorty, so and ain't nobody take nothing for me. And he grabbed my coat, up this pipe out, popped his ass twice, you feel me? He ain't checked though, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak to Like this back and this this was happening back to back yeah, still while yeah, you trying yeah, to get but, every time you try to get traction, boom, some shit happened. Shit happened boom, like, you trying to get like, stat traction, boom, some shit happened. Like this time left, so I'm about to drop the process. You feel me? That's, why, that's why too. my music bagged up, cause every time I'm about to drop and shit, some major shit happen. Anyway, it's about to drop the shit, bro. You feel me? And feds come and die my pop. Not even die my brother first. Two weeks later, and die my pops. Now I'm in between both. Like but these motherfuckers, I'm with every day, so they got me on investigation with my brother shit. You feel me? But all this shit still open, so yeah. Talk about that pop shit. You feel me? You feel me? Doing he gotta do. Ain't gonna talk about that no more. Yeah, 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 no, man, just, 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 yeah, we should talk about what's going, like, you just keep, every time, I'm every time you're trying to keep going, music, nigga, some shit. So now, my pops really engineering this shit, um, you feel me, on the investigation, he trying to make this shit happen, like, that's why I respect him so much. Yeah, at least he's trying to. These niggas making me, like, my little brother just called when I first walked in here from jail, he doing life no parole. These who motivate me to keep going, you feel me, because, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'll get to the bag regardless, I'm gonna get to the bag, so. Rap money just a lot of money at one time. So I need no, that. No, definitely. No, I need definitely. That. So I'm definitely. trying to get my little brother home. They gave him life, no parole at the age of 20. You feel me? So I got to get him home. So I got to do what I got to do, man. No, I definitely, man. The, the things. And he out in Ohio. And they, they, they lost. Yeah, they look different. Up, yeah, man. they look different. Now, now, Georgia Republican State. Huh? Georgia Republican State. Too. Yeah, no, nah, we Democrats. Right. We turned they them off. We the <laughs> reason. We the, Georgia is the reason why the, the, the uh, why. The office is Democrat now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because John Ossoff and uh, uh, Raphael Warnock, they mm -hmm. won the election here. They Democrats. Right. And that's how we turned the state blue. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, that's now that yeah, we, yeah. Ohio fucked up, man. Oh, no, like, definitely. Look, bro, look, bro, got some real drama on his hand, but, you know what I'm saying? Before we get him home. No, nah, definitely, man. You got to live for something. That's, that's, that's what I really do this shit for. My little brother on. No, nah, definitely. That's a hell of a reason. All right, let's tell us about you talked about you talked about the process already. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about Travis Scott. That motherfucker Ryan. Yeah, Travis Scott. Um, I performed there yesterday at um Music Monday. That motherfucker hard. Shout out to them. You feel me? Hey, fuck with that shit. Like it ain't uh, out yet. I shot the video already, but like I told you, everything always something always happens. So I got the video. I'm gonna show you when we get done. Mm -hmm. But um, that bitch hot. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sister Drop that shit. Beat. Drop that bit. Cicero made the beat. Yeah. <laughs> made the beat. Yeah, man. That's that's bitch that bitch hard though. That's they gotta drop that motherfucker dog. That's true. Yeah, drop that motherfucker. Oh, we working on it right now. Hey, the motherfucker man, let the motherfucker. Hey, slide them bitches, man. I got some shit. Yeah, man, slide the motherfucker, man. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh then tell me about uh, tell me about uh, uh, what's it called now? Out of time. Out of time. Yeah, out of yeah, time. Out of yeah, time. Um, uh, I had linked up with JTK. Mm -hmm. That's the nigga that uh, young nigga from Chicago. But uh, he produced for like Polo, no Polo G. Um, Lizzie Osama, um, Cowboy, like he produced all their big songs. They got them where they at. So oh, okay. He produced the process. So when he heard the process, he like, damn, bro, you, 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 yeah. you hot. So he sent me another one. He ain't even heard that song yet. That motherfucker hard. Like, that bitch hard. Bro. Like, that, that bitch, bitch hard. I'm like them other, the, the process, the process, and Travis Scott hard. But like to me, yeah, and me, a like, though. I, they, yeah, that motherfucker talked to me. I realized when, how I came up with that song. Um, that morning, I had found out one of my homies got killed. I like, robbed him and killed him. So, you know, fuck with mine. You feel me? That's the, but you can just hear how dark it is. You feel me? Like, I feel all it. my music is like off a of mood. I feel and it's it. all real shit. It just ain't going to be direct. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to, like, it's going to be. You don't pull to it, bro. It's, you it's, it's you don't found out how to do this yeah, shit. Yeah, it's, it's a. It's a it's a way it's a chemistry it's the way to do this shit. You just gotta figure out how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially if you want to be yourself. You see what I'm saying? You gotta think about how hard it is for me to do that shit. I came out talking about dancing. Well, not well. White T was talking about trapping, mm -hmm. even though we were dancing in it. 
But oh, I think they like me and lean with a rock. We were dancing it. Yeah. And oh, I think they like me. We dropped it in 2005. I'm saying it was number one single. Oh, yeah. 2006 we dropped. I remember all that. Lean with it, rock with it. It was number one single. I produced Lean with it, rock with it. Mm -hmm. So we got two number one singles in 05 and 06. 05 I caught a body. 06 I caught a trafficking charge. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So in the time of my life when I'm doing the best, I catch the two worst charges you can catch being a street yeah. nigga. I came on talking about some shit. I came on to rapping, not about the shit that I was living. Cause I was scared to rap about the shit that I was living. Cause I was like, boy, I'm going to go, I'm send myself to jail. So I had to figure out a way to do that. And it took me, it took me a few years to even say, I'm going to learn how to yeah. do it. You done found out the process. But, but see, look, motherfuckers was like, motherfuckers been stepping on shit for so long, but I was stepping on shit when I was too much from leave me alone, leave me alone, let me turn up. All that, like, nigga, I've been like this, but like I say, we one of the last hoods left with a little structure to it. So Tottenham to me, no, we ain't doing that. No, we ain't doing that. All that posting pipes and all that, we ain't doing that. You feel me? Yeah, like, fact, yeah, we don't do that people, either. When them fans come, they gonna take them first. You feel me? So like, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, motherfuckers know, like, but now I didn't get older, so I know how to do it. Like, I know how to word this shit now, and I know what come with everything I do. I hear it. That's why I told you when I was on here, so, so I said. So that's why, like, that yeah. shit sound like some. No, no, nah, nah, fuck. Whatever well, I said when I at least that, I said you ain't pushing. You know, you know, like yeah. talking yeah. that shit though. Yeah, I, I, I identified. I told y'all you ain't pushing. Like, yeah, <laughs> push like, yeah, I, yeah, I hear. I know when this shit coming. Like mm -hmm. I, 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 I relate to it. How did you get your name, TBU Breezer? Shit, that's some shit. I, um, TBU shit. That's that's some shit I came up with. Like, um, what's TBU? Talented but unknown. Mm -hmm. It used to be, uh, I was sure it was Team Band Up, so you know I always been TBU. You yeah. Feel me? Like, okay. Right. <laughs> to change the acronym, yeah, say, yeah. yeah. Like, motherfucker, get older, get a little wise, get, mm -hmm. get get to the bag. You feel me? So now, it's turning to my so it like represent the underdog. Like, you know, it's a lot of motherfuckers. Like what JD could say, it's a nigga that's better than Jordan that didn't get that break. You feel me? I know like all the top hoopers too. So like a lot of them motherfuckers, I look at like y'all was way better than we was, but you not where he at. Cause you feel me like yeah. that's fucked up because now yeah, like I know a few too. As, as the motherfuckers get better then that mean yo good ain't that good no more you feel yeah. me so it's for the talented but unknown you feel me like the underdogs no, I'm fucking with you I'm fucking with you Breeze always been your your name too yeah always you know what I'm saying play off last name type shit yeah but, yeah you know that unknown shit that's a motherfucker man like I was born in that shit like, yeah my pops I think the second generation I know. You feel me? Like yeah. oh, first, first or second. Like he right there. You feel me? Like so, baby Ty, all of them been on the crib before. Oh yeah, that big dog shit. Yeah, that's real big dog. Yeah, that big dog <laughs> shit. That big dog like, shit. For real, for real with me. Yeah. Like oh, I got big dog shit. One folks call me like the brothers. Like the brothers call me from Minnesota. Oh, hit that door one. Hey, home, grab that door right there one time. Mississippi. Hit that green bun too. Memphis. Like one folks always tell me, trying to tap in with me. So yeah, that's they can't real. see. That shit real, you feel me? So I just feel me like that. Oh, no, I no. know to the motherfucker. Yeah, oh no, I know. Listen, I, 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 listen. Best in Chicago. We share some shit. I know. Well, that, <laughs> that's why I was able to explain to them what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if if you if they wouldn't know what you were talking about, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was nigga really really thought you were talking about like that's the area. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But that's just that just I'm I'm in tune. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm on. I ain't an interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I ain't no interview. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just want to share. I just done. I think I'm, I'm way around it. I, I, I'm somebody who don't experience them that every phase of life that another person is going to go through. Mm -hmm. That million dust status, all that shit. Like, I don't have millions before. But some of that shit, regular motherfuckers not going to experience that shit. I don't experience everything that a motherfucker can, that a, a normal Motherfucker, or uh, really above, above normal motherfucker don't experience. I don't experience the poverty, the hood shit, going through cases, to having millions, looking out for niggas, going through shit, and talking about fucking niggas up, like being here, having a name still, mm -hmm. overcoming shit. And I can say I'm, I'm probably, when it comes to the eight, I'm, I'm in the 1% when it comes to Atlanta. Because I don't give a fuck who you ask about me, I don't give a fuck who it is, how long they've been knowing me. They ain't going to say nothing bad about me. Right. Give a fuck who it is. Right. I know some niggas who don't like me. I know some niggas don't like. Yet, like you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, but they, but they can't spray me. Right. Only thing they can say, I don't like how he do this. I don't like how he mm -hmm. act like this. That's it. But if you ask him, he pussy, they're gonna be like, oh no. Nah. Right. 
I ain't, I, yeah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't never act like that, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There's a few niggas rapping niggas out of fucked up around this bitch <laughs> and shit before, but these stories niggas don't even know. Besides, it's a few people, you know, mm-hmm. because I, I ain't into it for all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? I come from this, I come from hood gangster shit. So I ain't gonna let a nigga bitch me. I don't let a nigga hold me. Get me some money. I'm gonna stand on real. Now, and I just, I just feel like it's other niggas like you saying, like you who go through the same shit. And I want to be this platform where niggas got down, get ready, get a chance to speak their voice, where niggas can understand and hear, and not thinking that probably just got another nigga here, got down, chest to got down, get some money, and he got down hear what a nigga say. Right. Nah, bro. It's a few niggas who don't hit me, and got down, and got down. I say, okay, I'm gonna do the interview. Then I start finding out, be like, nah. Bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? I done did that three times. It's only been three times, but I done done it before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I done had some few niggas who done hit me before. Like, Blase, Shada wanna do an interview, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I can't do no interview with Shada, because you know Blase, Blase, woo, 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 woo. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They like, oh, boy, I ain't even know that. I'm like, oh, yeah, bro. Hey, check this check this goddamn uh, text message that finna come right yeah. behind this phone conversation. You see what I'm saying? Boom. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just. I want to, this shit, I'm, my shit going to be real, bro. My platform going to be for the real niggas. My shit going to be for the real shit, dog. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be for niggas to tell their story. It's going to be for niggas to goddamn uh, swap the platform to the street niggas. Because my fan is the, like I say, my fans is the street. They the hood niggas. The niggas who going to, you know what I'm saying, tell you what's going on. Niggas who going to pull you up and look you up. They're mm-hmm. going to do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just be glad to share that shit. You know what I'm saying? With you too. You know what I'm saying? To tap in with Chicago, especially the West. You see what I'm saying? I don't think. No, I don't think I don't, I don't think I never like personally. I know some people from West Side of Chicago, but I like like me and you just dialogue. I said yeah. I ain't never really been around nobody from the West, so this shit new. This shit new for me too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it's a it's a different dog out West. I ain't gonna like we walk different, talk different, everything, but it's still Chicago. Mm-hmm. The whole thing, like I want what what Guapa said he was from. He said, well, he said he from. It's like right by. It's right by. He said it's right by. Out right on outside 60, 62nd. Like he said, no, 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 I'm trying to figure out what he said he was from. Well, he was wherever he said he was from. He was like, they used to be on 63rd. He's like, six, he's like, back in the day, 63rd used to be the spot where everybody used to be at, like at the store or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because he was explaining, because I'm asking him the same day, like, like, okay, how's this shit up there? He's like, yeah, I used to stay by there. Like, niggas used to be at the store up there. Then right. this new generation, when this shit start happening, then, like you say, niggas start changing, niggas start getting clicks, and then these niggas start getting to it with these yeah. niggas. So that's why it looked like that now. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, you just don't want to be nowhere over there. He said, God damn it. He said, all oh, this shit. He said, every t- he said, every block, everywhere you turn, like you just saying, it's a hood or, 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 or some niggas or got them a click or something, and they into it's, it with somebody. It's controlled violence, because if you know, you know. If you don't know, don't go over there. It's controlled violence, though. Like, you know if, if he gets seen or whatever, what's going to happen. You know if they peep that car, what's going to happen. You know if y'all go through that, what's going to happen. Y'all going to score, y'all going to get scored on. Like, you feel me? A lot of people slide on them blocks and don't make it out. That shit don't make the news, you feel me? Like, only motherfuckers making the news, niggas with a lot of, a lot of followers. Niggas down there, there in Chicago. It's fucked up out there. So, let me ask you this. So, the, the boy with the color for hell, how stupid that was he did? Yeah, what? The boy with the color for hell, who did all the other shit. Talking about the, um, yeah, the, the boy with all the color for hair and shit. Told, yeah, stuff. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. When, <laughs> how stupid was that shit he did? But what he? Oh, you talking about when he, when came, he came? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> but but I ain't gonna lie, cause he came out west too. But you gotta realize that nigga was getting followed by detectives, unknown. I mean, not unknown, but like undercover, like yeah, yeah, he, the, he yeah. The highest I know, on, yeah, like, yeah. Was, man, anybody trying to go? You gonna go to jail? Fuck with dude, that bro. Yeah. Be a clown, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. I just want to ask somebody from up there to really help put in perspective me, cause I be, you know, I be yeah, want to know like. That shit, but that shit was dumb. But that's, but that's what's going on these days. All this shit is about the internet. If it wasn't on the internet, he wouldn't have did. Man, come on, bro. You ain't gonna nah. make it. I'm yeah. telling you, bro. If it wasn't such thing as the internet, a lot of these niggas would be nobodies. Nah. The internet making them somebody. Yeah, facts. I think y'all. I think Chicago too created the term up one. I think niggas got it from niggas got. It. Now I could be wrong, but I, that's why I'm just like I said. We have a dialogue, like the up one, like a lot of these, a lot of shit that niggas say. Niggas in Atlanta really be having a lingo on a lot of shit, but that up one shit is a lingo that I don't give a fuck where you from. Everybody use that fucking lingo. Yeah. You see uh, what I'm saying? Um, um, I know Chicago responsible for a lot of like famous motherfucking slang words. No, though, you feel me? the reason I say that because I remember back then 
I, when I know these niggas, be, when I said, I know Chicago was a little different. When niggas were like, hey, man, the nigga check called the nigga, his partner, who he check rolled on, and said, oh, yeah, nigga, we up to. <laughs> well, I'm up one. We up one. Yeah. I said, he did what? I said, so I mean, he called it up on his, on the, I said, they got each other number. He's like, yeah, yeah. they got each other number. He said, the nigga FaceTime you. Oh, yeah, Bo J. Cop, but we up one. I said, for real? I said, oh, them nigga different. I said, that shit different, bro. I said, shit like that, that shit make you go somewhere else, dog. Yes, man, it's the internet, bro. Think about it, all them conversations is on the internet, bro. Like, the yeah. internet gas and all this shit up, bro. The internet gas and everything up. That is the worst shit that could happen. These fucking phones and the internet. Think about it, bro. When you was a shorty, you could remember every number. Sure you can't remember a motherfucking number. Sure can't. can't remember shit, bro. It's sure damn phones, bro. Sure and the internet. Can't. Yeah, yeah, man. Nah, That's nah. fucked up, though. When you think about it, I used to remember my grandma number. Everybody, you know, I can't remember shit no more. I, don't, I barely know my number. I got to go in there and show you, like, what's your number? All right. Hold on. Damn. What I do? No, well, let me see your phone. Call my phone off your phone. You feel? Yeah. How you do it? Shit crazy, man. Hey, man, I just want to say appreciate you for pulling up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Me, I appreciate for being your first interview. Back, you know what I'm saying? No, we gonna do listen, yeah. bro. This one, listen. <laughs> you might end up coming on this motherfucker eight times, boy. Yeah, yeah. You see I'm what I'm saying? Bro, I'm gonna give you ten. Ten. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. How long? Nigga, we gonna keep rocking. Like, I, this ain't no one time thing. Like, in apartments is just like, I, in apartments it's just like when you in the apartment, like you say, y'all on the porch, mm -hmm. like wherever you chill at. Like, well, you and your partner's just chilling. Y'all just having dialogue. Y'all yeah, just, just having a conversation and dog talking. How you feel about this? What's your view about this? Hey, man, what, I went through this. I've been through this. And I just use it as a way to get to know people and to have that type of dialogue. Mm -hmm. Just imagine. I'm coming, I moved from Atlanta. Y'all 12, 13. I come on the block. I just move over there. I see all y'all. I'm one of them kind of kids that if all y'all niggas over there, I'm on the way over there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I come to the, on the porch. Now... Y'all finna start asking me about me. I'm finna start asking y'all about y'all. Mm -hmm. Where you from? But I'm from here. We, we do this. Really. And that's what the apartment is. Like, mm -hmm. this, this the block. We, this the hood. Like, we just having dialogue, just talking about situations. So I know next time we'll get a chance to talk about a little more different situations yeah. going on. This time, we're basically introducing you, you know what I'm saying, to my supporters and stuff. Right. And let us know who you is so now they can tap in your music. You know what I'm saying and shit. Bro, go ahead, upload to Spotify. Get his, get his goddamn, get his, um, get his shit together. You know what I'm saying? So goddamn when he doing shit like this, so goddamn when the motherfucker go up, guess when nigga tap in, he gonna have that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because all this shit connected. Mm -hmm. You start doing these interviews and you start doing all this shit. First thing niggas gonna do, soon as you say one thing that intrigues somebody, they're gonna stop the interview. Yeah, pause. And they gonna pause and they gonna scream. Same thing you do. Same thing I do. This <laughs> motherfucker right here, bro. I've been on this shit this morning. Well, since yesterday after I performed with uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, he from out here. Yeah. yeah. You, I know, like, he from my side. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, he from my side. He from my side. He I'm actually... Sure you can feel it. No, actually, he's supposed to be coming up here, too. You know what I'm saying? They don't... They don't. His people don't reach out, too. I when they fucking feel it, I got I to gotta see Yeah, you got to check it in. You got to check it in. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, dog, appreciate you for stopping by. Anything you want to say, um, tell them where they can find you on social media? Uh, just um, follow me on all social media platforms at um, TBU Breezy. T-B-U-B-R-E-E-Z-Y. You know what I'm saying? Chicago shit. You no, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Out west shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out west shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to say Chicago say out west shit. 290 see, out west. Yeah, we going to see in the pot, man, we going to teach niggas lingo, too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They already begin the interview. Heard you say you from Chicago. Yeah. So when you say you from out west, out west, yeah, they niggas gonna already Chicago know. Avenue, though. Yeah, That's Chicago good. Avenue. I'm off the Ave. The Ave. Yeah. That's okay, <laughs> the Ave. You know what I'm saying? Stamp that. But shit, dog. Like I say, appreciate you for stopping by the apartment. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna tap. We're gonna we gonna do this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Till next time, dog. We in the apartment with Parlay. Meet me in the apartments.